So we have talked about the first six episodes of Grimm. Now this is set episodes seven, eight, and nine. For those who have not seen those videos before, I will leave a link in the description to those videos. Anyways, so yes, episodes seven, eight, and nine. So let's start with episode seven. Episode seven is Let Your Hair Down. Everyone probably guessed what this episode is dealing with. It's the story of Rapunzel. Basically, when well, this story, these people are out in the wild and they get attacked and killed by this creature and no one knows what it is but the creature left behind a piece of hair and it's like a really long strip of hair so people are like what the heck is going on here and they they test the hair and realize that it's linked to this little girl who I'm missing a number of years ago it's her DNA that in this hair and they're like did we find her and so now there's this search to see what's going on and it's really interesting interesting episode. As I've talked about before in my previous videos on Grimm, the first couple episodes and the first season really is these. It, again, I will have to eventually, down the road when this channel is bigger, go into like dive sectin what makes the first season and just all the seasons of Grimm really really good. But as I talked about before, basically in this first couple, especially the first like couple episodes, you really have this building on a story is like this is a perfect example and making these videos are reminding me how this is a perfect example on how to build your world each episode is building on new concepts this one the concept of we're learning more about the investment and community you know in this one we are dealing with so how do these people figure out they have their powers are they just born with them like what what how does it work and in this episode, you really see that, right? So you have this little girl who is a blue bond, which is the big bad wolves. And she, as a little girl, she didn't know what she was. She was adopted. And basically, long story short, she gets kidnapped by someone. And she escapes from the person by biting them, by turning into, her, like, Vogan, basically, what it's called. She turned into a monster form and bit him. Anyways, the point is that now she's living in the wild. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't understand any of this stuff. She's she's so, She was so young when she got taken that she doesn't really remember her family that well. She's, you know, she's kind of lost in the wilderness now. She figures out a way to survive because, like, she's, you know, stuck out there and she doesn't want to go back because she's scared of what she is. She doesn't know what she fully is. There's no one who understands her. So she's just out in the wilderness by herself, giving into nature almost, and being like so, you know, she's giving into her wolf side and not understanding how this works. So now you have next friend who's a Vessen come in and he's like, I'm a blue bond too, I'm going to help out with this case and help her by saying, hey, I'm like you, I'm civilized, no, I'm going to help like you. Know, she trusts him because of this. So they're able to get closer to her and, you know, help her get back into society based on just, you know, really being able to say, hey, this is normal, I'll help you work through it. Very interesting, I love this episode. Again, this episode does a really great uh, job with a new aspect of, okay, so what happens, like, how do investments work? Are they just born with it? No, different times they can have their abilities come out. So you might have it so it's not until their teen years. You might have it so it's as a little kid. But they just suddenly start, you know, being able to vote and stuff like that. And it's scary for them. And that's why it's important to have your family around who can you know, teach you how to you know, get use your abilities properly. Just like how, you know I mean, just if people were left on their own, expected to understand how to do everything in life. They wouldn't be able to do it. It's kind of like that, but it's even more so. It's just like if you are, you know, a preteen and you are going through those, you know, changes. We're not going to talk too much about that, but being, you know, basically, and no one ever explains what's going on. It's kind of like that to an extreme level. It kind of reminds me of what is explained in the X Men movies of, you know, how the X Men, like when they get their abilities, it's really scary because they don't know how to de use them. And that's where they have to go to Xavier's school for gifted youngsters because he, he helps them 
and he trains them how to use their abilities properly. So that's that episode is awesome for that. I really like it how it expands on what how does Vesson work. The next episode we're dealing with Hank, no Nick's partner. He's he put away years ago. He put away a guy who's like super super strong and like kind of really hard to shoot and some of that and. He, Everyone just thought it was like, oh, this guy's just like really tough. And the point is, they managed to catch him, and he got put in jail. But he escaped. And now he's hunted down Hank and the other people who put him in jail. The thing about it is, now we have the aspect of, okay, so these monsters have been around all the time. We have in the first episodes, we had this idea of like, yeah, the monsters have been around. But you don't really think about how, because Nick probably has... Nick has probably worked with solving crimes with Vessens before and he didn't even realize it because he didn't have his abilities. Which is really interesting because he didn't get his abilities until he was an adult. Sometimes they're like kids when they get their Vessen abilities. We'll see that later on, years down the road, we're going to have a new character jump in who's also a Grim and you're going to see the same aspect that happened with the episode 7, Let Down Your Hair, but from the Grim side. Anyways, that, that's just a little tease for season three, I think it is, or something like that. So that's three years down the road. Anyways, but, so, so basically what happens in this episode is this man is hunting down, and he's an ogre. So he's really, really, really super strong. And he's after Hank and people, and the people who put him in jail, because, I mean, revenge. And now Nick, with his new found abilities, knows that this guy is not just a human and so he has to give into his grim side and he has to really like try to take down the guy from a grim aspect and use special weapons that can actually penetrate the skin of an ogre and stuff like that it's really interesting this episode's really good the big aspect that brings that makes this episode good is the aspect of saying this is the first example we have of really saying they were vessels before for this was not the first case they ever had to deal with Vesson before, but it's only the first case that comes back up that Nick now knows what to do with because he's grim. And then episode nine, a mice and man. This episode's dealing with a, a mouse Vesson as he's. I mean, you, I won't spoil what happens because really you can't talk about this episode too much without spoiling it. But this. One is dealing with a man is found dead, and we're led to believe that it was killed off by a snake vessel. But in the end, I mean, we've learned more about it, and we learn that there's more aspects to it. It's again, this is another example of the rivalry between you have the wolves and the pigs. You have the witches or you mean hex and beast, and the bee um, vessels. And then you have snakes and mice are always like, I mean, they never get along, they are, they, the mice are terrified of the snakes. So assume it, you would just assume that the snake is always the villain in this case. Again, just like with the episode with dealing with the pigs, there's more to it than you might think. So guys, those are my thoughts on these episodes. Tell me if you guys haven't seen it. Tell me your thoughts on these episodes once you guys watch them. If you have watched them, again, if you guys haven't watched these uh, Grim before it's on the CW it's on Prime you can get it on Prime Video there's other places you can get it they're really good again I will leave in the description where you can buy a copy of it you just want to own the series it's I love the series it's so good such a fun watch I enjoy it so much tell me if you guys have seen it if you haven't Check it out because it's, it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. This has been the Movie Night Review. Peter Wicker, signing off.